what is up everyone and welcome to my youtube channel today's video we're going to be going out for a night ride we're going to go pick up some dinner and we're going to go to in and out i'm going to bring you guys along for the ride hope you guys enjoy it let's get riding i'm not sure what in and out i want to go to I, i'm actually lucky enough to have three here so i think i'm gonna go to the one that's probably the farthest away just to enjoy the drive and i want to put miles on the bike i actually went to go top off the bike this morning for the first time i didn't even put four dollars in it so it's a really good gas saver i guess it's the first time taking out the honda grom at night i'm excited for it oh i have a reflective vest that i wanted to put on but looks like i forgot to grab it hopefully they see us you guys may have noticed that i don't have any mirrors on the bike and that's not really because i want to be cool or anything it just got a little late on me today and putting the mirrors on was actually harder than i thought it would be i took them off and it was pretty easy to take them off. I got mirrors that go in the same spot here as the OEM ones do. The only difference is that they like stick out here and they kind of stick out more so I can see over my shoulders. I didn't want to get the bar end ones because then I wouldn't be able to fit it through my gate. That's what, one thing I really like about this bike is that you can fit it through uh, pretty much any door frame, honestly. I could probably keep this bike in my room if I wanted to. I didn't want to take that away so I ordered these and I couldn't thread them in for some reason it was like really hard to thread in it just it looked like it was the right size but it just wouldn't thread in so it started getting dark on me and I, I tried to put the OEM ones back on and those were also hard to thread back on so yeah so I have no mirrors. Hopefully I can put them back in tomorrow. That's the plan. I need to get some practice on going uphill. I haven't stalled it yet. So I'm taking the back roads again. It's really my favorite spot to take this bike in. And it's a really nice scenic route. But maybe on the way back, we'll take the city streets. Oh yeah, on the ground out at night. It's pretty fun to take the bike out at night. It's kind of hard to see with a, when other cars have like bright lights, it shines right in my face. I have a clear visor. So that may be the issue. But these uphills, man, tons of fun on this bike. It struggles to go up on them, but it's still fun. Should we go down through downtown, see what's going on? Let's check out downtown. I'm starting to really like the Grom. It's not fast, but it's really easy to drive and that's what I wanted. I do want to hit the track with this. There's a local track. It's a little go-kart track where they let uh, 400cc and under bikes race. So I do want to go there. Downtown, not, not much going on. This is a really calm city. There's a bigger downtown that I do want to take you guys maybe on the next video. where it gets a little more crowded, more people out. Should be fun to drive through there. Whoa, whoa. Looks like the Tesla wanted to come over here too. Now we're on the city streets. Now we can go full throttle. It 
this bike is really easy to drive. It barely feels like a motorcycle. It's very forgiving. I can give it throttle and it's very predictable. Really easy bike to ride. That's what I that's really what I wanted. Because the thing with my R6 when I had it is I wouldn't ride it. It just wasn't really it was a whole process. I had to put a lot more gear on and it's just a heavier bike to ride too. And the seating position, not the most comfortable. But who knows? I've been riding this bike for two weeks already and I already want a bigger bike. I don't think I'll sell this bike. Just keep it as a little city bike. We're revving it high. We're revving it high. And the car still passed us. It could use a little more power. So I've been thinking about maybe actually getting the mods for it. It'll probably just make it a better bike to ride on the street. Maybe I can actually stay in front of cars. We're here at In N Out. And we're gonna take the drive through. Big line. Can I get four double doubles? Four double doubles? Yeah, and that'll be it. Is there any french fries and drink today? No, that's fine. The four double doubles with onions, three minutes in the car? Alright. Uh, can I get them in the bag, please? Yeah. yeah. We need 26 or two at that person. Thank you. Thank you. Have you too. We have a clean little ST right here. These are nice. There's the menu for you guys. Double double, cheeseburger, hamburger, french fries, and shakes. Pretty simple menu. Thank you. Almost forgot my receipt. There's a damage, 26 bucks. Thank you. Show you guys the goods. Mm. Cover that up. Let's get out of here. Got taken out there. Parking lots, not my favorite. So long in and out. We're gonna go this way. We started on the back roads. We're gonna end on the back roads. Turn back, sure. That's the thing about not having mirrors, man. It's not that good. Bike looks great. It looks a lot better without the mirrors, but definitely need mirrors. Accelerate out of the turn and onto the back road. Mike has been driving really fine. I still haven't finished breaking it in. Hopefully I can do it this month. I want to break it in before I take it to the track. Ooh, that was a rough downshift. almost home so i'm gonna wrap the video here please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this night ride uh, let me know what else you guys would like to see me do with this bike give me some ideas thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one